Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Subski, your host. Today I'll be talking about smart watches. There are actually four types of smart watches. Two you might have heard of and the last two you may not. We'll talk about the first two first and I'll elaborate on the last two. And then I'll show you the devices that I have um, that uh, may help you decide which one you uh, want. Type one, you need to have your smartphone. Most, most of them any require smartphone. Whether, for example, Pebble requires uh, neither Android smartphone or um, Apple smartphone okay type 2 serve a very specific function usually fitness related uh, function and so it allows you to receive messages but you can't call right uh, Fitbit for example you can't even see anything except that it tracks your um, you know your movement and then it syncs to your smartphone so you can have a look at what calories you burn and how many steps you walk and so on type 3 Generally, the smartest phone of all because it's independent from the smartphone. It is a smartwatch that has all the features that a smartphone has, except of course the screen is really tiny. Um, it's an Android. Uh, this one is Android 4.4 with Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, and GPS. Okay, so um, I have it, and I'll show you in a minute. That it's uh, you know you can't really do you know gaming on it and and the uh, spec is not as great as a smartphone for example this is a dual core one 512 megabytes of memory uh, internal memory right and maybe a storage of eight uh, built in eight meg uh, gig of uh, information or data and the last one of course is your um, uh, real smart phone and a smart watch with a phone on it right so just a phone and music you can put in the uh, memory card in there and you can listen to music through uh, Bluetooth. Okay? And that's about it. Let me show you now the device. Okay, so let's look at Type 1. This is uh, Samsung Gear 1. As you can see, the watch is in here in a box. I, I just want to show you right now. It, in terms of its style and look, it's pretty good. I mean, the Type 1 has a very good feel to it. It looks like a real watch and it uh, looks pretty fu futuristic. I would say the one of the best, if not the best looking watch um, based on different companies like Samsung and LG and Motorola and so on. Okay, so they're quite look nice looking. Um, like for example, uh, Samsung Gear 1 comes with a sapphire um, glass here, right? And uh, quite relatively thin right and this one has a built-in camera okay now you need your smartphone to be able to sync with your um, smartwatches and it actually for Samsung Gear 1 for example all the gear devices from Samsung requires that you have your smart phone and uh, you know the one thing I like about this is that um, you you know if you want to turn on you just uh, you know make a flick on your wrist and it will turn on okay Again, the problem that these uh, smartwatches suffer from is the battery power, okay? Um, this Samsung Gear 1, for example, will last maybe a day uh, with uh, the screen turning off every, let's say, like here, 10 to 15 seconds, okay? And then you flick it again and, oops, let's see. There we go. It turns on again, okay? If you do that, it may last a, a, a day. However, I'll show you on my other videos, uh, that if you mod it to um, uh, to the, the native interface is actually Android 4.2, then um, your if you can turn off that um, uh, automated on when you flick your wrist, and by just pressing the button instead, you'll keep the battery last even longer, maybe two three days. Okay, I'll show you later on how to do that. But that's um, Type One. Uh, you need the smartphone with this. And, and you sync with your smartwatches, and it, like it has a you know weather notification. S voice allow you to um, uh, send messages through your voice, short messages anyway. But you need um, to make sure that your um, smartphone has Wi-Fi or data plan through the in, uh, to use the internet. Okay, all right. Let's put that away. I'll sh I'll show you a, another video on you know on the actually the 
Samsung Gear 1 and how to operate it and how to mod it. Okay, we'll talk about it later because this is just about the smart type of smartwatches. Okay, the second type, of course, I don't really have a second type, um, but just, uh, just to illustrate the second type, it will look something like this, right? It has a built in maybe Bluetooth and some kind of microchip in there that communicates with your smartphone. Okay, now. Um, usually the one thing I like about these uh, type 2 smartwatch I wouldn't even call it smartwatch I'll call it smart device especially when there's no watch in it right um, ability to for example keep track of your you know your fitness in other words if you walk and you run it will keep track of how many calories you burn uh, using a, a accelerometer or any some kind of sensor that it has built in okay so sometimes you get fancy it has maybe lights in there you know to make it look nice so Anyway, mainly geared towards fitness people, right? I, I wouldn't recommend that if you're not into fitness and it's served very specific function um, and it's pretty expensive if you think about it. It's almost as uh, half the price of a type one uh, smartphone, which I see, I say type one is much more useful. Okay, but again, the good news is that these battery powered uh, devices actually last very long. Um, if, um, if it doesn't have a screen on it, it could last for months. All right, okay, that's type two. I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Let's go through type three. There we go. This is a uh, Z-Pack uh, S8 smartphone. This one, for example, okay, let me, if I can turn it on here, it'll take a while. Okay, if you look at it, it has a built-in uh, SIM slot. You can put the SIM card in there. It has a, um, a camera, a two megapixel camera, and uh, connect directly to the USB so you can charge it, okay? It has uh, the button up and down, and then of course another button here, okay? And it looks nice too. If you compare that to the Samsung S1, let's have a look, compare the two. Okay, let's have a look at the difference between the two here. Okay, here's the um, Samsung S1, okay, gear one I mean, sorry. Okay, and uh, compare that to the uh, ZG Pack S8 smartphone, and you can see they look relatively good. I mean, the Samsung Gear One is more thinner, whereas the ZG Pack S8 is a little bit thicker by maybe about a couple mil. But the size-wise, you can see one is more uh, rectangular, like the Samsung Gear One, whereas the ZG Pack S8 is more squared, right? Um, which one would I recommend again like I said if you don't have a smartphone you don't care so much about smartphone then go with this smartwatch it's much cheaper if you have a smartphone and a smartwatch you, you can run between you know five to six hundred bucks at least right whereas this one is only 150 you got the smartphone feature in there and a smartwatch where you can call directly for example okay let's turn it on and you swipe it and there we go this is actually an Android 4.4 pretty cool you can use Google now there because it's uh, it runs as Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS right the GPS is not that great you have to make sure you um, um, have a clear outdoor with no obstacle then it works pretty well they okay, even have a Play Store in here so it's really an Android 4.4 uh, and I look here I even have translate navigator for GPS right in there okay so all these cool feature in this independent smart watch okay so if you don't have a smartphone or you don't care so much about smartphone this is the way to go it has a built-in camera and a sim card you can put in there okay so let's say if I want to make a call click on call and there we go okay a dial it has a dial pad and just call that number and you can do that okay so that's the type 3 not bad um, again, battery power lasts maybe a day or two. On standby, maybe a couple of days. Okay, but uh, not bad. I, I like it. If I don't have a smartphone, I would go with this one. This one, uh, you don't have to worry about anything else other than calling and receiving messages. And uh, yeah, a cool gadget. I would say, you know, inspect the gadgets type of people would might want this one. And of course, lastly, this watch here. This is the fourth type. This one, um, this one's called Avatar uh, Smartphone or Smartwatch. In fact, 
we don't call it smartphone or smartwatch. It is just um, watch mobile, right? It's actually a, um, a a phone on a watch. So you have this um, smartphone, the fourth type, where it has a dial pad in it. That's pretty cool. It is actually a phone, right? And it is uh, it has a Bluetooth, so you can actually listen to music as well. Look, it has um. Uh, here you can put in a uh, memory card up 32 gig of memory and you can put in your um, sim card you have to open it from the back there we go okay I don't can see that okay sim card you put in the back and uh, you can hook up a USB connector Oops, this thing actually came out oops and then um, connect to get it charged right now the, the good thing about this device is that again if you don't care so much about smartphone and you just all you care about is being able to call this is it this is the phone you want okay basic calling uh, your your uh, phone and list, looking at your messages text message okay and this is the phone to go okay if you're one of the old school where you know text messages uh, text texting is not you know your cup of tea and you just want to make uh, audio uh, regular call and receive phone this is it Okay, you can wear on your wrist and it works. The battery life, it's not bad too. You know, standby will last maybe three, four days. Uh, when you call, let's say you make a call, you will last you at least, uh, I would say, a day or two. Okay, because the battery that comes with it is pretty powerful. It's I think it's a 700 or 800 milliamp uh, hour battery. Okay, but the problem with this, of course, is very bulky. Right, I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's that bulky. It, it's not for, you know, a guy may look all right for a female with very thin uh, wrist. It looks kind of funny. Okay, even got even guys actually with a uh, small wrist, for example, thin bony wrist. It will look kind of bulky, right? But if you have a you know big wrist, you know more bulging kind of wrist, then yeah, that's okay. This is pretty good. Okay, here's a built-in speaker, by the way. All right, so this is a t fourth type. I would recommend it for those who um, just all they care about is calling, right? Uh, calling uh, you know people and don't care so much about text messaging you don't care about apps and all that this would be a uh, it and uh, most likely I would see this uh, among the um, older generation who all they care about is calling and not so much about texting and using different apps okay so there we go we have all four um, type of smart watches that you have you know have to decide now what to pick um, for me I actually have three out of four and I was just uh, experimenting with them. And to be honest with you, I like Type 1 the best, especially the mod version of uh, Samsung Gear 1. So Samsung Gear 1 is, is the one I picked, and uh, it allowed me to mod it to uh, Android 4.2, and I could do a lot of things with it. For example, I could, was able to put in um, uh, Google Now, right? Google Now with that uh, here. Okay, with it. Okay, I'll show you later uh, how to do that. So this is, would be my, my recommend my, uh, recommendation for smart watches. Go with uh, Samsung Gear One, not not the new one, but the the old Gear One, and mod it so that it becomes uh, Android 4.2, and uh, play around with it. You'll find that the feature that it has pretty much you f is what you will need. Okay. The second recommendation, of course, is um, you can go with this one here. This is the uh, Type 3, which has a built-in Android uh, operating system 4.4, and it has all the features that you need, like GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and all that, and a built-in SIM slot where you can put your SIM card. Okay. Now this and a camera too. Uh, this one would be recommended for those who you know don't have a pretty good smartphone and they just want to be able to use a uh, call and you know have a GPS tracking or you know using Google now for web searching this is pretty good too okay so again number one type uh, one number two type three smart watches and um, lastly the this one here the type three would be for those who just all they care about is the smartphone calling smart watch sorry calling and uh, this would be the one you want okay if you just want to just call
that's it. The Type uh, 2, the one that is like Bit Fit and, um, or Gear Fit, those one I don't really care so much about. I mean, it, unless you're the one who uh, do a lot of um, exercise and fitness stuff and uh, you want battery to last very long and you want to keep track of your, you know, uh, your body, how much you endure and all that, yeah, go with uh, Fitbit and uh, Gear Fit. But I don't think it's for a lot of people. It's, it's very particular niche uh, for a certain group of people. And I would say, it, you know, maybe for those market, it will work out. But, you know, for a general population, I would say these two. Okay, these two. Uh, Samsung Gear 1 and uh, ZG Pack uh, S8 is the one I use. Okay, so those two. There's another one too, the InWatch Z that I don't have. It's a bit expensive. It's almost like three, 400 bucks. So wouldn't want to get that, it's too much money. I'd rather get a smartphone with a smartwatch. Alright, thanks for watching, educatetube.com.